Okay, so you've already seen how the Pythagorean Theorem works, what the Pythagorean Theorem is. So you should know by now that the Pythagorean Theorem says that a squared <clears throat> plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the two legs of the right triangle, and c is your hypotenuse, or the longest leg opposite of the right angle. So, it is really nice when we are given an example problem where they give us the two short sides because then we just follow the Pythagorean theorem the way it's intended. So we know that we'd take the a, uh, the 9, which is our a side, and we'd plug it in so we would square the 9. We would take our b side of 12, we would square that, and we know that would equal c squared. So 9 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. Well, 9 squared is 81, and 12 squared is 144, and if I add those two together, it comes out to be 225 equals c squared. Now, if you remember in the last video that you just watched, when you get to c squared, what cancels out a square but a square root? So if you take the square root of c squared, it equals c, and if you take the square root of 225, in this case it turns out to be a nice easy number, we would get that c would equal 15. So that turns out very nicely. Okay, let's take this a step further. What happens when they don't give you the A and the B side? So instead, they gave you the C side and the B side. Well, if you think about it, you know that 7 plus 3 equals 10. So 7 plus 3 would equal 10. Well, what if they didn't give you the 3, but instead they said something plus 7 equals 10? How would you figure that out in your mind? Something plus 7 equals 10. You'd probably, in your mind, just turn it into subtraction and do it backwards. 10 minus 7 equals 3. Well, the same holds true with the Pythagorean Theorem. Here, we're given the C side. We're given the B side. What we need to do is solve for the A side. So we know that the C squared side minus the b squared side would equal the a squared side. Well, we know that c is 26, and we know that b is 24, so we take 26 squared minus 24 squared will equal our a side squared. Well, 26 squared is 676, 24 squared is 576, equals a squared. Well, 676 minus 576 is simply 100 equals a squared. As we said before, to get rid of the squared on the a, you take the square root of this side, and the square root of 100 turns out to be a nice easy number as well, being 10. So our missing side here would equal 10, okay? Well, this is really nice when it turns out to be nice easy answers like 10, or if it turns out to be a nice easy answer like 15. But what happens when it doesn't turn out to be so nice? So my next two examples here bring us to that example. I'm going to get rid of those first two so we can just focus on these two. So on this next example, you'll notice I was given our C side. I'm given our A side. What is missing is our B side. Well, similar to where, remember, that we knew something plus 7 equals 10. We knew the one side was 3. Well, what if it's 3 plus something equals 10. Well, then we know that something is 7 because you can turn it around and continue to do subtraction. So, c squared minus our a squared will equal our b squared. Well, here we got our c squared side is 13. Our b squared side would be 7 squared. When we take and figure those out, 13 squared is 169. 7 squared is 49. 169 minus 49 comes out to be 120. Now, when you try to take the square root of 120, you're going to get 10.9 dot, dot, dot. It doesn't turn out to be a nice, even number. So the nice part about Khan Academy is when it doesn't turn out to be a nice, even number, then you just simply take the square root of the b squared to equal b, and the square root of 120, when it doesn't turn out to be a nice, easy number, you just keep it as the square root of 120. So it looks like this answer right here. Finally, one last example for you. Hey, we were given the A side. We were given the B side. We have to solve for C. So again, this follows the normal format of A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So when we plug this in, we do 9 squared plus 10 squared equals C squared. 9 squared equals 81. 10 squared equals 100. 
81 plus 100 is 181 equals c squared. When we take 181 and we plug it in, it again does not turn out to be a nice number. So because of that, we just take the square root of both sides to be the square root of 181 equals c. That is how you're going to do your Khan Academy coming up for today. So good luck on that Khan Academy. You can always go back and look at these examples for how to do those if you need further help. Um, otherwise, I'm online today from 9 to 11 and again from 1 to 3. So uh, feel free to seek any help you need from me. But I don't want to give any help to anyone who has not watched these three videos. So please make sure you've done that before you ask for help. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.